8.45 in the morning time on this Wednesday morning, February 12th, 2014 on Wednesday morning. Time now for the weather magician, PJ Wiggins, the morning report. Wednesday morning, February 12th, 2014. Get, get out of here! <coughs> Good morning to you all on this lovely Wednesday morning. Our congregation is at 8.45 a.m. in North Massachusetts. We've got a temperature 2 degrees above zero with a humidity 83%. Wind speed is common parameter 30.54 inches, 2.2 below to the visibility 8 miles. All right, let's take a look at our radar scope. It shows a couple of little blobs of snow flurries in eastern Quebec and eastern portions of Nova Scotia and snow flurries off the southeast of coast of Prince Edward Island. This is going to be our storm. Snow showers at South Central and Western portions of North Carolina and Northern portions of South Carolina and Northern Georgia and then Northern Alabama and then South Central near Nashville and out to Southwest Tennessee Red Memphis and Northern Mississippi and Boo. Arkansas, but this is good it's dangerous gonna be catastrophic ice from south central portions of southwestern portions of north carolina and for central portions of south carolina that for central georgia including the atlanta area and for alabama and down for southwest of tennessee down in northern mm, mississippi down for northern portions of louisiana and for southwestern portions of Arkansas and got the rain showers and down to the eastern coastal Carolinas, down for South Central, down for Georgia, down for Alabama, down for Mississippi, down for western portions of Florida, with down for southeastern portions of Louisiana, South Central portions of Louisiana, and raining out of northeastern portions of Canada, following of Florida. Here. And a band of snow showers from northwestern portions of Missouri, eastern Nebraska, down for Iowa, down for southeastern Minnesota, down for Wisconsin, down for eastern UP, Michigan, down for eastern portions of Ontario. And out of the west, the rain showers in over Nevada, and down in Utah, snow showers in northern portions of Utah, down for Idaho, with rain showers mixing it in northern portions of Idaho, down for western portions of Montana. Rain showers in western portions of Oregon, down for northwestern portions of California, and stretching up to the Washington State. Rain showers in western portions of Washington, with snow showers in the and the Cascades of Washington State and snow showers in northeastern portions of Washington State. Snow showers in eastern portions of British Columbia and, and down for southwestern portions of Alberta. Never mind, just snow showers from western Alberta and down for Saskatchewan. Lake Louise, Canada, good morning. Six degrees with broken clouds and Buffalo, South Dakota, good morning. Nine degrees with hazy skies. Let's take a look at our satellite little bit shows. Back to the clouds from the Gulf, Mexico, stretching out for the southeastern states and enough for the Carolinas and the Virginias and the Middle Atlantic states. Never a batch of clouds from Norfolk, or because I don't know if it central plains and enough for the Great Lakes and stretch it up to Ontario and to Quebec here. And another batch of clouds from California and Nevada and enough for Utah, and stretch it up to the North Rockies and enough for the North Pacific North West and enough for British Columbia and enough Alberta and enough for western portions of Saskatchewan here. All right. Let's take a look at our map situation here. High pressure centered in seven portions of Texas, seven portions of Saskatchewan, central Pennsylvania, and seven portions of Quebec. Same you find from New Mexico, switch it out to New Mexico, and out of the Gulf of Mexico, and a cold front from Nova Florida, switch it out to sea. The cold and warm front clouds together off the Pacific Coast, bringing some storminess to the Pacific Northwest. Stay in front down for Alberta, cold front from Montana, down for Wyoming, down for South Dakota, down for Minnesota, down for Southern Ontario. Cold front from South Wyoming, down for Colorado, down for Kansas, down for Nebraska. Warm front from Eastern Nebraska, down for Kansas. Our frontal boundary from Central for the Gulf States, down for Tennessee and Kentucky. Frontal boundary from Southeastern California, down for Arizona, down for Western portions of Mexico. South Central portions of Oregon, down for North portions of Nevada. 10 degrees in Boston, it's 20 in Washington, D.C., 31 down in Atlanta, 69 on Miami, 38 down in Brownsville, 32 in Dallas, 16 in Kansas City and Minneapolis, 5 above in Chicago, 20 out in Denver, 36 out in Albuquerque, 39 in Salt Lake City, 35 out in Great Falls, 53 out of Seattle, 48 in San Francisco, 53 in Los Angeles, here. Okay.
Kurganish is around region, it's 10 in Boston. One above in Norwood and in Bedford, four above in Beverly, 12 in Gloucester, 14 in Marshfield, 21 in Providence Town, 22 in Chatham, 20 out in Nantucket, 15 out in Marshfield Venue, 8 in Bedford, 10 in Falmouth. Two above in Taunton, nine in Warwick, and in Wesley, seven in Smithfield, eight in Milford, five in Webster, one in Sturbridge, four in Worcester, one below in Fitchburg and in Nashua, five above in Nash Manchester, eight below in Concord. New Hampshire, King, New Hampshire, 11 in Portsmouth, five below in Springfield, zero in Greenfield, three in Windsor Locks, in the dark. Birds got nine, three in Waterbury, one in Denbury, 17 in New London, 10 in New Haven, 12 in Bridgeport, 14 in Block Island. Four above in Albany, New York, nine below in Bennington. Vermont, six and out in Islip, 14 in Islip, six in Southampton, and 14 in New York City. Okay. Public discussion of major winter storm with the potential for crippling ice and snow accumulations underway across the southeast. Heavy rains and battle storms expected across the Pacific Northwest and the Northern Rockies. The stage is set for a major winter weather event expected to pack location by the deep south to the northeast in the next few days. Widespread precipitation is already developed in the <clears throat> northern and frontal boundary switch from the southeast coast back to the Northern Gulf today. Service will spin it up in the wild to find it with additional moisture in the region and it is the deepest over the north central gulf on Wednesday. A fresh supply of water carried into place on the north and boundary will allow for snow in the north for not west of the edge of the principation should will also simply accumulation expected over there. Several populations also warm air over running. Sub freezing temperatures will make an equally impressive swap freezeway to south southeast out of the Avis no access. Impact of the large portion of northern Georgia and South Carolina. The deep and low it was a really exciting night. In respect to the lift part, the southeast. Wednesday evening and then rapidly into fire. We're taking a straight track up the eastern seaboard Thursday. Plenty of outlanding moisture getting wrapped in the storm allow for the widespread precipitation to include heavy storm. And the potential for ice altitude is a lift part the middle Atlantic states and eventually northeast. Out west, multiple pieces of energy rippling and front the flow off will trigger widespread preservation across the past half and off rest of the Nova Rockies Wednesday and Thursday. Persistent on fo shore flow should allow for moderate heavy bats, especially over the favorite slopes of the drain. All the snow levels will be relatively high across the region. Second, so everything in some accumulations will be split with respect to all the higher elevations washing cascades of the Northern Rockies. Light snows will be possible with a cold front across the upper Midwest Great Lakes uh, early Wednesday and will a secondary up. Stream system dropping about 10 quarters of Minnesota Wednesday evening into Thursday morning. Lack of moisture across the North Central United States should limit the accumulation with both of these features. <laughs> Okay, forecast discussion for New England air. I went, I went for the wind and it just, it just uh, you know, wasn't my night. Synopsis this high pressure building over New England will bring dry cold conditions today. A significant winter storm will impact the region Thursday into Friday morning. And have a week low pressure area will move across Friday night into Saturday. High pressure brings dry cold conditions Saturday night into Sunday night. And low pressure approaches Monday into Tuesday, bringing enough a chance of preservation. <coughs> Near term forecast, no demand of motion effects. No showers moving from the outer Cape southward. Uh, no east winds, but Hyannis and Falmouth reported. No showers over the last couple of hours with such a uh, forecast in the next few hours, but expect them to dissipate by 14Z. Never had the temperature dropping below, below zero across the locations. Lows 13 below at Key to 12 below Chickamee, waging at 19 degrees at Pouse Town, Chatham, and Hyannis, and Nantucket at 11Z with wide range of temperatures two points across the region. Up updated the big uh, current over the last few hours and just for near term trends also updated ocean effect clouds cover across Cape Cod. Looks like this cost should move out by the <laughs> late this morning as seen as in latest air satellite trend with clear skies moving south of the south coast of Maine. <laughs> Remain in the forecast on track for today. Here. And we're going to get snowfall. One less than an inch of snow from middle of the outer Cape in the islands. One to two inches for Northern Mars Minion and Western Cape and Plymouth County and down for New Bedford and down for Westport. Two to four inches for Western Plymouth County down for Bristol County and stretch it out to Norfolk County down for Boston and, and North 
middle of northeastern Massachusetts and one to two inches of possible run cluster. Four to six inches from. Set to be down and it's set to be down. Northern Rhode Island, including Providence, and stretch it out to eastern, western, western Norfolk County, down to the to west, and stretch it up into the, no, the Merrimack Valley. Six to eight inches from northeast of Connecticut, stretch it out to extreme northwestern Rhode Island and Burrowville, stretch it out to Worcester County, stretch it out to Lowell, Lawrence, and Averill. Eight to ten inches from. Central Connecticut, Good Hofer, and stretch it up to Southeastern Massachusetts, Worcester, Massachusetts, and stretch it up into Lola Danfus, Central New Hampshire, 10 to 14 inches from Northwestern Portions of Connecticut, Danfus. Central, Central Western Massachusetts, Good Springfield, stretch it up into Much of Western Massachusetts, stretch it up to Southwestern New Hampshire, 14 to 18 inches still in the Berkshires there. We were just, well, we got there very early, so we had a very good spot mm. near the press, and, uh, and he just had to be there. Okay, we are under a winter storm watch here. That's, that's so great. Did you get to meet him also? Yeah. Oh, 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 Men's figure skating. Today, the official morning show of the Olympic Games. Why sleep on a no-name mattress when you can have a Sealy for less? The Sealy Posturepedic Classic at Bernie and. Each thing arrives to their performance. The snow will get here. Like snow will be here about. Monday morning. You know, 8 a.m. morning commute. Like on that heavy morning, snow. Like Moderate heavy snow, snow for much of southern New England. Brutal. Rain. Noontime. Right. Like snow and rain will be a bunch of the Cape Cod Islands. There. A few ice accumulations right in Connecticut. <laughs> We're all zoning out over here. Yeah. And by 3 o'clock, the rain will make its way down to Norton. Boom. Southeastern Massachusetts and. Raining in southeastern Massachusetts. Here. And. The winds! comes with our no questions asked money back guarantee. If you don't absolutely love Dr. Pericone's products, send them back within 60 days for a full refund. It's gonna be howling! Even if the containers are empty, you can. Did it not be. Gifts, 20 miles per speed, cussing out to the coastlines here. Okay, let's take a look at our 7 day forecast goals like this for today. Sunny skies are near 20 degrees, north wind about 5 miles per coming in southeast in the afternoon. Tonight, a chance of snow, barely up to 5 a.m. increased skies with a low around 19 degrees. Southeast wind about 3 to 5 miles per chance of precipitation is 30%. New circulation of less than half an inch possible. Thursday, snow before 1 p.m. The greatest snow height are 36 degrees, northeast wind about 7 to 17 miles per gust of size, 30 miles per chance of precipitation is 100%. New circulation of 3 to 5 inches possible. Thursday night, rain before 4 a.m. The chance of rain is snow, low around 32 degrees. North wind about 14 to 17 miles per covered the northwest at midnight. And with could cut side 32 miles by chance of precipitation is 100 percent Little no circulation expected. Friday, chance of rain or snow before 8 a.m. The slight chance of snow between 8 a.m. and 10 a.m. Part of the sky side to 39 degrees. West wind about 11 to 15 miles per cut size, 32 miles by chance of precipitation is 30 percent Friday night, a chance of snow showers mainly after midnight. Most guys got low in 26 degrees, chance of precipitation is 30 percent Saturday, chance of snow showers before 8 a.m. Park of the Sky near 35 degrees, chance of precipitation is 30%. Saturday night, Park of the Sky low in 13 degrees. Sunday, Saint Sky High near 27 degrees. Sunday night, most of the Coast Sky low in 11 degrees. Why it's Shannon's birthday? Most of the Saint Sky when I near 31 degrees. Monday night, a chance of snow showers. Most of the Coast Sky low in 22 degrees, chance of precipitation is 50%. And Tuesday, chance of rain showers. Most of the Coast Sky high near 42 degrees, chance of precipitation is 50%. Peters, what a phrase of the day! A sunny day to come before the storm tomorrow. This is PJ with a good day with a good positive attitude, dear.